So the hardest thing about Imaginarium Theater is literally just having enough characters to actually play the mode. So for example, right, this is my alt account, my Asia account that I like rarely ever play on. If I wanted to pick my supporting cast, this is it. And the thing is, you know, it's going to rotate with its elements. It's only Pyro, Alexa, or Animo. So even if I have my Sing Cho built, or even if I have my Nouvellet built, you know what I mean? My Edo built, it doesn't matter because those modes, those elements are not available right now. So if I try and go in with this lineup, right, I get this message. I can only do easy mode and unlike other modes, it's not like I can go through this and get all the rewards. No, the only way you get all the rewards is if you do the hard mode. So I'm missing, you know, four more characters I have to build that have to be of these elements, you know? And even if I wanted to pull, I mean, uh, you know, at the time, all I see is Hydro units, you know, maybe, maybe like gaming, but people do have a point when it comes to this argument just having enough characters to even play the mode. But I don't really want to talk about that today because let's be real, it's called Endgame for a reason. And I know, I know, Genshin's Endgame is not the most crazy difficult thing in the world, I'll be honest, it's really not. But it can be difficult if your account is not ready for it. And that's the, kind of the whole point, right? If your account is not Endgame ready, you shouldn't be here. You know, if, you, if you're a newer player, you probably shouldn't be in this Imaginarium theater. You probably shouldn't be hanging out with Wolfie. You probably shouldn't be anywhere near the abyss because you have a lot of work to do before you can even get to that point. So I wanna focus on what this game mode is like just simply as somebody who is ready for it, who can play it. So here we are on my actual main account. And I can say when I did this for the first time on stream, just kind of going in blind, had an open mind to it. The very first thing I noticed was nothing was really impactful in this mode right and number two it was so short and i don't even mean short like i had two well invested characters like no 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 it was just so short like it was over and once you get into it right it just kind of feels like like i said nothing is really happening as you get to the last one your cards don't really change that much you know what I mean? You can pick a character from like your friends list, that, but it's only like one character. So that can help you if you don't have enough, but it's only gonna help you so much. So when you go to this mode and you pick your supporting characters, right? Your supporting cast, don't look at this. This is what I want you to do. When you go to this menu, click whatever elements are currently available. Pyro, Animo, and Electro. So whatever the current season is, do this. Filter it out on your account, hit confirm, and whatever pops up, that's your options. But just, you know, for future reference, this is what you're really working with. Look at this when you do this mode. And that's, who the, that's what characters you actually have available. If they're not of the element, and personally, the real punch in the gut for me, this has no real replay value. And you can argue that Spiral Abyss doesn't really have it either, but at least that's a place you can go to like test your characters out against the hardest bosses and stuff like that because the enemies are, you know, level 90 or above, right? Or level 100 or 4 or 3. But in this, they're kind of squishy, so it's all about the challenge and the cards and, you know, the way the mission actually plays. So there's this it kind of just one and done with this mode too. So for example, like these are kind of randomized. You can get a random companion. You can, once again, invite someone of your choice. Um, there's a lot of different possibilities here with these cards. And then like the boons, they just don't really make that much of a difference, right? And this event would be fun if you could play meme teams or teams that you typically would never play, but the buffs were so significant and so good that it could make those teams fun. That would be fun. If you're if you're playing like a you know a four man healer team but you know heals do shockwave damage or like you know whenever you heal you get crit damage or crit rate or something that would be cool if you could make those meme teams a thing in this mode 
that would be genius because that's the thing that people always try and do is play the characters that they really like despite their role in the game you know let's say like they're maybe not the strongest unit in the game or they don't really synergize well with other units or something like that it's like they still try and make them work people do dps builds on healers and stuff like that so i feel like that would be awesome if i could run around with like toma and be wrecking shop you know what i mean um that would just be like a really cool thing for this mode and i feel like that's what should have been the goal in my opinion but what actually ends up happening is you have like half or like 20 percent of a good team and then you kind of have to like you know like this for example you got wonder farazan toma okay usually Bennett would be that last slot right but instead you're gonna run shinobu or you're gonna run another dps like arlie or chlorand or whoever else is here right and once again it could still be cool it's just if the actual buffs or the stage effects actually did something useful and that's what's so weird about like the the genshin dev team is they have all this stuff already we've had events that were actually good we had like an event not too long ago where it was like super hard bosses and stuff like that they have the blueprint and obviously if we want to like broaden our horizons a bit and go to their other games like star rail and whatnot i mean you guys have the blueprint so it's just weird how they they think you know i just i don't get it and after i finished the first run i said this mode felt like a randomizer but you can pick a supporting cast as you can see i have a lot of characters so it's not really going to be that much of a problem but even still even if you have a lot of characters it is only three elements so if you didn't pull this character or that character it's not really going to hurt you normally but in this mode it's like you know i mean imagine when this thing changes to geo cryo and dendro dendro is still a relatively new element you know what i mean i know it's been like almost you know a year or two years now but still right you're gonna be running around with your dendro mc trying to like you know fight enemies and everything but it just like i said it seems like they didn't really structure their character releases for a game mode like this and that's why it, it aggravates me because they've done great events in the past that would have been better as an end game but out of all of them they chose this one so honestly a more like maybe creative idea would have been like weapon choices that would have actually increased the range more could you imagine if instead of elements it was actually weapons instead like you know only sword users pole arms and bows you know what i mean like that would actually spice things up a lot i think that would be kind of cool because that would really mix things up where you could have supports but it would still be a little wacky because a lot of bow uh, characters are supporters and you know that you couldn't run yalon or something like that if there was no bows or of course like if it's all swords people actually make accounts like that you know i forget his name but like shout out to him he, he has like a polearm only account like people actually make those accounts for real i think that would have been a more creative idea behind this and like i said it's not too late maybe they could do that maybe it'll be like hey this month is sword claymore and polearm only i don't know but basically let's say you know you choose your characters for this mode and it'll basically like pick from this cast and the other one as well that happens after this um and another big problem too with this event is once you get into it right it doesn't actually allow you to just go in solo or with one or two characters right it actually makes you pick all four and that that sucks because if i could just pick arlecchino i'd be good like she would wreck this whole thing you know what i mean and then with that what it would do is it would actually make it so the vigor the lightning symbol or your uses would remain there and i could actually save these characters for later which would be really good for people who don't have that many characters on their account because they can save them but because we have to use all four right it says you have to use all four because i have to do that i end up with weird teams like this for example as like my last ditch effort you know and i don't mind playing characters who are not used that often that's great honestly 
but going back to my point earlier that is what this event should have been or this end game mode should have been it should have been you can play those meme teams you know for this for this month or something like that and you would make it hard just by the enemy selection you know you you'd be weak but the buffs and everything that you get all the boons would help it so you can actually get through it with chi chi or with sayu or with you know zinyan or something like that like you could actually get through um and make characters who are not dps's dps's kind of kind of sort of speak but that's a big issue too is you can't just not pick four people and that's honestly a very minor change that could make a big difference if you just change it so that you know you can do if i could just do like wander if i was on because you don't really need a healer much for this. I mean, enemies can heal and stuff like that, but the enemies are so squishy, it doesn't really matter, you know? But overall, I would just say, make it so we don't have to pick four characters, because that would actually open up a lot for a lot of people. You know what I mean? That would actually help tremendously to be able to, like, extend characters further. There are cards that can bring a character back, to be fair, but that card pool is so RNG. You know, I mean, you can get like all four battles. You can get all f like, you know, one battle, three companions. And I'd say never be afraid to pick a companion in this mode because you're probably gonna need them. I don't know, man. It just kind of seems like this was not the choice to make as an end game. This definitely feels like an event more than it does an end game. Of course, when it comes to Genshin, I mean, it's the main things they kind of fall short on. And it's the scenery and the music and the characters and Wolfie and stuff like that, that they do a good job with, but it's like, you know, ah, like the, the main thing should be the performance, the Imaginarium theater, you know, like the, the mechanics here and no offense to the actual people, the individuals, but when it comes to Genshin devs, they don't like to listen to us. They really don't. They make really weird decisions. We were just having a conversation like we thought the dev teams like run by AI because it just seems like they just make some really weird, bizarre decisions. And knowing them, they probably won't make any changes to this. And I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But most likely they won't listen to us with the surveys. They won't listen to us for our feedback. They won't make any changes, most likely. And once again, I really hope that they do because this could, this does have potential. It's just you know a lot of things it needs, it needs a lot of work and what really sucks about this is we're losing a spiral abyss reset for this so you know how usually the first of the month and the 16th of the month our spiral abyss would reset now we're actually missing it it's only going to be every like 16th of the month so every month for each mode because this one's here now and players who built their account to try and beat the abyss they probably can't beat this mode now. So they can get the 800 from Spiral Abyss, but they can't get the rest of it from this mode. So you kind of lose out, you know? And of course, if you plan to keep on playing, your account will build and you maybe eventually will be able to clear this. But yeah, it's just a very awkward thing to kind of like step into. But like I said, talking to individuals who've been playing this game for a long time and who are end game ready, for us, it's just kind of like, I don't know if this is the definition of endgame. You know, an endgame should not be a thing that we just breeze through and it's over. An endgame should be a thing that you can kind of like delve deep into. So the major things, like, I guess, band-aid things, small changes, make it so we don't have to actually pick four characters and make those boons more impactful. You know, no pun intended. Like, actually make them change something about the combat that we're used to you know instead of it just being like abyss floor nine with some slight changes you know what i mean or like with some scuffed teams basically is what it is it's like abyss floor nine but your teams don't make any sense so that's all i gotta say about it um overall i didn't have the worst time playing it but honestly i would just like it if it was longer you know, and I know it kind of sucks for people who don't have enough characters, but I think it'd be cool to be on like, let's say like Act 12 or Act 15 and you're really like low on your characters and 
you got to pick between like a healer or a DPS, but your team is low on health or something like that could be interesting. if like you get really far into it and your characters really matter, you know, but I don't know, man, there's some things that have to be fixed with this for sure. It's, it's not great overall. I could see if you have fun with it, you know, that's totally fine. And to be honest, I did the first time. I just kind of wanted more from it. That was, that was my thing. I just wanted more from it. But I do think there are some glaring issues with the event. And they uh, they should try and make some, some changes there. But that's all I got to say about it. It does suck that we, it does suck that we kind of lost the Abyss cycle for this. But hopefully they'll listen. We can expand on this mode. And it can actually be fun. I like Wolfie. I like the music. I love the Hex and Zirkle lore in this in this in this place. Um, there's also like a interesting little like fortune thing over here. Your characters also are here as well. Um, you can like check your fortune as well. So for the season. So yeah, I just hope they can make some changes to it. It has potential. It does, and your runs do matter. Like for example, if you well, less example, if if you do a run right it's like before you start your supporting cast matters heavily and i know you, can, you may not have the character but this is what it's going to pull from so when you're doing your run you got to keep in mind these units that you picked are who are going to pop up one by one um and when you pick your companions you can have some repeats as well so yeah <sighs> i really do Hope the you know hope the best for people who don't have that many characters because when this goes to Hydro, I mean you know our Hydro roster is these are our Hydro units. The only four stars in this list is Sing Cho, Barbara, and Candace, and I don't even have every character in this game, so someone's missing from this list, uh, Tartagula. So yeah, I don't even have Child here. You only have Sing Cho, Barbara, and Candace as your four stars. The rest are all five star limited units. So, or I'm sorry, Mona is standard, but still, you know, and this character, if they don't do the right elements, if it's not Dendro and Hydro, I, you're not playing Nilu. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you will have to pick her just because she is Hydro and she's a slot you can fit. You know what I mean? So when it comes to that, or like, let's say when it comes to like uh, Geo, for example, that's going to kill so many people. I mean, just look at the roster, man. I don't have Albedo, right? So, I mean, you know, I would maybe be able to get through if there's like a Navia, if I could use her, maybe Chiori, but, you know, Noel even, but it's just going to be chalked, you know, looking through everybody here, Cryo. There's your cryo roster. You only really have Ayaka, Ganyu, Risley, and I guess you could maybe brute force Eula. You know, Rosaria, Kaya. But this element, element gating, I think the concept is a cool idea, but the execution and how this game has released its characters, that just might be a problem with what they've done. You know what I mean? But the concept is cool. And then, yeah, you also have your Denjo cast as well. You can use your Traveler. Or can you? I don't know. <laughs> Either way, your Denjo cast, that really sucks. Because once, like I mentioned before, you probably don't have that many Denjo units just because it's a fairly new element. You'll have Kali for free. But there's only like really two, well, I guess you could say three DPSs there, technically. But those are just my my ideas and solutions for things um, for this mode. And last but not least, I think that end game should be something that's a little bit bigger, you know, and maybe you have a book here. Maybe you have a book over here, maybe a book over there. Maybe these are all different modes in this room. Maybe you have like four different modes in this room, you know, but I don't know, man. Uh, Genshin devs are really, they really confuse me. They really do. They make some really odd decisions and we'll see what the future holds. But overall, my thoughts on it are it has potential, but the start does seem a little, little weird. 
but I did have fun with it overall. So I, di I do hope that they just make some changes to it and we'll see what happens. I'm going to give it, I'm going to let it cook, you know, it's so like the first day of release. I'll let it cook. But so far, it kind of feels like they didn't think things through all the way. And I would love to see some improvements, but that'll be all for me. What are your thoughts in the comments? Let me know. This was, was this hard for you? Was this easy for you? Was it just boring for you? Was it cool? Did you actually have fun with it? Let me know in the comments below and that'll be all for me. We'll catch you guys in the next one.